asymmetric trade opportunities define careers. The markets don't offer this up very often. The markets are much more efficient than this in general. Right. But for an asset that's only been around for 12 years called Bitcoin, it's not surprising that there's so much old money stupidity that still hasn't embraced it. Right. And all I can say again is asymmetric trade opportunities define careers. My asymmetric trade opportunity in my career occurred after the great financial crisis when I was able to buy restructured asset back commercial paper in Canada at between 25 cents and 50 cents on the dollar. I was able to buy literally billions of dollars of this. And we got paid our hundred cents on the dollar back. Mm. Okay. And it defined my career. And at the time I'm like, okay, I've found my defining trade of my career. It's time to hang them up. And I tried to hang them up and someone introduced me to Bitcoin. And I'm yeah. like, this trade is 10 times better than the best trade I'd ever executed in my life. Yeah. And I'm like, by the way, look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm privileged. I worked hard to get privileged. Um, I'm doing this not because, well, let, let's be honest. Look, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in a position where if Bitcoin goes where I think it's going to go, then I'll be happy because I'll, but maybe I'll donate most of that money. Not that I'm a philanthropist, but what I will say is I need other people who are not in a situation like I am to benefit from some of my experience. It makes sense that you take these asymmetric trades and you build a portfolio that I'm not saying put all your money in it, right. but if you own zero Bitcoin, you're actually at higher risk than someone who owns, let's say five to 10% of their net worth in Bitcoin. Right. And that's the key mark because it's my kids that are at risk from these politicians that have pulled forward gains that my kids should be able to uh, live, they pulled them forward for my generation of selfish boomers who are too soft to actually, you know, pay the piper in the present. They want to, Andrea, what her name is, AOC, whatever her name is, uh, we'll just print more money and we're going to yeah. tax the rich. And it's disgraceful. It's, Ill, it's intellectually laziness. Some of it's purely conflicted, you know, uh, uh, old uh, Munger there, Charlie Munger. First of all, who, who, who talks to a 94-year-old man about technology? And secondly, yeah. do you think he does it, He would actually want Bitcoin to succeed based on all his exposure to the, 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 the financial uh, players that Bitcoin will disintermediate? Right. You know, Charlie Munger, with all due respect, go fuck yourself, okay? You are giving very poor advice to my children. And for that, I will never forgive you. You're a conflicted old fuck, okay? And do not do this because it's criminal behavior. You yeah, can edit yeah, that yeah, out yeah. if you want. If you, if you don't want, I'm happy that goes wide on the internet, okay? I'm disgusted with people like him who are so conflicted, who have, are either intellectually lazy, at which point you don't want him to manage your money, or if he's conflicted, well, that's very dangerous. Well, I think um, anybody that would go get uh, their advice on technology from uh, Charlie Munger is probably deserves the advice they get. <laughs> um, I wouldn't go ask him what app I should use or what VPN I would use on my computer either. And if I was getting, if I was asking for that advice and he gave it to me, then but I to call deserve. it Rat Poison Squared, Rat yeah. Poison Squared, without doing the deep dive on it. Yeah. Again, you're costing people who believe in the glo in the Berkshire Hathaway once a year. Listen to these two gurus talk. Yeah. That's just wrong. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I couldn't agree more. <laughs>